The Man Who Sold the World is a song written and performed by David Bowie. It is the title track of his third album, which was released in the US in November 1970 and in the UK in April 1971. The song has been covered by a number of other artists, notably by Lulu, who had a UK number no. 3 hit with her version in 1974, and Nirvana, whose 1993 performance of the song for the television program MTV Unplugged introduced it to a new audience. The song was reworked by Bowie, featuring atmospheric synths, a new bassline, techno-style drums and a notably darker mood, for performances in concerts from 1995 to 1997, including the 1995 MTV Europe Music Awards. Bowie later returned to playing the original version in the 2000s. Inspiration and explanation The persona in the song has an encounter with a kind of doppelganger, as suggested in the second chorus where, I never lost control, is replaced with, We never lost control. Beyond this, the episode is unexplained, as James E. Perrone wrote. Bowie encounters the title character, but it is not clear just what the phrase means, or exactly who this man is. The main thing that the song does is to paint, however elusively, the title character as another example of the societal outcasts who populate the album. In common with a number of tracks on the album, the song's themes have been compared to the horror fantasy works of H. P. Lovecraft. The lyrics are also cited as reflecting Bowie's concerns with splintered or multiple personalities, and are believed to have been partially inspired by the poem, Antigonish, by William Hughes Mearns. In the BBC Radio 1 special programme, Change Snow Bowie, broadcast on 8 January 1997, Bowie was interviewed by Mary Ann Hobbs and was asked about the song. He commented, I guess I wrote it because there was a part of myself that I was looking for. Maybe now that I feel more comfortable with the way that I live my life and my mental state laughs and my spiritual state whatever, maybe I feel there's some kind of unity now. That song for me always exemplified kind of how you feel when you're young, when you know that there's a piece of yourself that you haven't really put together yet. You have this great searching, this great need to find out who you really are. Topic: Other releases by Bowie. The Man Who Sold the World appeared as the B-side on the American single release of the song Space Oddity, 1973 re-release and British single Life on Mars, 1973. It also appears on various Bowie compilations such as Sound Plus Vision, 1989, The Best of David Bowie, 1969, 1974, 1997, Best of Bowie, 2002, The Platinum Collection, 2006, Nothing Has Changed, 2014, and Bowie Legacy, 2016. Bowie performed the song on Saturday Night Live in December 1979, with Klaus Nomi and Joey Arias. A portion of this show is included in the film The Nomi Song, and the full performance was included in the touring exhibit, David Bowie Us. A new drum and bass studio version of the song was recorded by Bowie and mixed by Brian Eno and appears as a B-side on the CD single. Strangers When We Meet. This version also appears on the bonus disc that followed some versions of Outside, version 3. It was this arrangement that appeared in Bowie's 2016 stage musical, Lazarus. Bowie's 25 June 2000 performance of the song at the Glastonbury Festival was released in 2018 on Glastonbury 2000.
A live version recorded at BBC Radio Theatre, London, on 27 June 2000 was released on the bonus disc accompanying the first releases of Bowie at the Beeb in 2000. A November 2003 live performance from the Reality Tour is featured on the A Reality Tour DVD, released in 2004, as well as the A Reality Tour album, released in 2010. Topic: Personnel. David Bowie, vocals, acoustic guitar, organ. Mick Ronson, electric guitar Tony Visconti, bass guitar, backing vocals Woody Woodman C, drums, percussion Topic. Lulu version The song was covered by the Scottish singer Lulu in 1974, who, according to biographer David Buckley, performed it in a sleazy, almost Berlin cabaret style. Lulu would recall Bowie inviting her to a concert he gave after which he met her in his hotel room saying, I want to make an MF of a record with you because you're a great singer. Lulu. I didn't think it would happen but Bowie followed up two days later. He was uber cool at the time and I just wanted to be led by him. I loved everything he did. I didn't think the man who sold the world was the greatest song for my voice, but it was such a strong song in itself. I had no idea what it was about. In the studio Bowie kept telling me to smoke more cigarettes, to give my voice a certain quality." Bowie produced the Lulu recording of The Man Who Sold the World with Mick Ronson during the July 1973 pin-up sessions and also contributed guitar, saxophone and backing vocals. The remainder of the band included Ronson on guitar, Trevor Boulder on bass, Mike Garson on piano, and Ainsley Dunbar on drums. Lulu's The Man Who Sold the World was released as a single on the 11th of January 1974, having been introduced by Lulu on the TOTP broadcast of the 10th of January 1974. The track only made its top 50 debut at number 27 on the chart dated the 26th of January 1974, following a reprise performance by Lulu on TOTP two days earlier on the 24th of January 1974, with a third. TOTP performance by Lulu on 7 February 1974 broadcast facilitating a boost from No. 13 to No. 5 on the chart dated 9 February 1974. In her TOTP performances in support of The Man Who Sold the World, Lulu has been characterized as dressed and sounding exactly like a diminutive Bowie. Lulu performed the song in the second season finale of French and Saunders. Topic: Chart positions. Topic: Personnel. Lulu, lead vocals. David Bowie, saxophone, backing vocals Mick Ronson, guitars Trevor Boulder, bass guitar Mike Garson, piano Ainsley Dunbar, drums <laughs> Midge Ewer version Midge Ewer covered this song in a 1982 studio release, which appeared on the Party Party original motion picture soundtrack released 3 December 1982 and promotional 7. Single, backed with. Band of Gold. By Modern Romance. The track was subsequently re-recorded, remixed and released as a B-side to Midge Ewer's If I Was 12 Inches. 
single released the 13th of September 1985. This later version is featured as the title song of the 2015 video game Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain. Topic: <laughs> Richard Barone version. The song was covered by American singer Richard Barone in 1987 on his proto-chamber pop album, Cool Blue Halo. Using cello, acoustic guitar and symphonic percussion in a live setting. <laughs> Nirvana version In his journals, Kurt Cobain of the American grunge band Nirvana ranked the album The Man Who Sold the World at number 45 in his top 50 favorite albums. A live rendition of the song was recorded by the band in 1993 during their MTV Unplugged appearance, and it was released on their MTV Unplugged in New York album the following year. The song was also released as a promotional single for the album, and received considerable airplay on alternative rock radio stations. It was also placed into heavy rotation on MTV, peaking at number three on MTV's most played videos on 18 February 1995. Nirvana regularly covered the song during live sets after their memorable acoustic performance up until lead singer Cobain's death in 1994. In 2002, the song was re-released on Nirvana's self-titled, Best Of, compilation. Bowie said of Nirvana's cover, I was simply blown away when I found that Kurt Cobain liked my work, and have always wanted to talk to him about his reasons for covering The Man Who Sold the World, and that it was a good straightforward rendition and sounded somehow very honest. It would have been nice to have worked with him, but just talking with him would have been real cool. Bowie called Nirvana's cover heartfelt, noting that, until this cover, it hadn't occurred to me that I was part of America's musical landscape. I always felt my weight in Europe, but not in the U.S. In the wake of its release, Bowie bemoaned the fact that when he performed the number himself he would encounter kids that come up afterwards and say, it's cool you're doing a Nirvana song, and I think, fuck you, you little tosser. On 14 February 2016, surviving Nirvana band members Chris Novoselic, Dave Grohl and Pat Smear teamed up with contemporary Beck to perform The Man Who Sold the World. At a pre-Grammy Awards party, in tribute to Bowie, who had died the month prior, with Beck performing the vocals. In 2017, to mark what would have been Kurt Cobain's 50th birthday, the Phonographic Performance Limited released a list of the top 20 most played Nirvana songs on the TV and radio in the UK in which The Man Who Sold the World was ranked at number 6, a louder electric guitar cover appears on the band's Live and Loud set list. <laughs> Topic. Charts Topic. Weekly charts Topic: Year-end charts. Topic: Personnel. Kurt Cobain, vocals, lead guitar. Pat Smear, rhythm guitar. Chris Novoselic, bass guitar. Dave Grohl, drums. Lori Goldston, cello. Topic: Five Years, 1969 to 1973. The song appears on the compilation album Five Years, 1969 to 1973. 
Metrobolist was the album's original title, planned for release by Bowie as a gatefold presentation, with hand-drawn title accompanying cartoon-style drawings front and back, opening up to display a double-sleeve photo spread inside. But the only substantial evidence, Metrobolist, was ever proposed as a Mercury Record Company product are labels with the title, Metrobolist, printed on surviving tape boxes. Topic other cover versions Lee Laven as Mize Joka Myi Myilman on her album NIIN 1974. Here and now on the album Fantasy Shift 1983. Electricny Orgazam on the album Les Chans Ones Populaires 1983. Ed Cooper on the album The Exotic Male Order Moods of Ed Cooper 1995. Simple Minds on the cover's album Neon Lights 2001. Three Melancholy Gypsies sampled the Nirvana version in their song 2010, which appears on the Living Legends album Legendary Music, Volume 1. Yordas Unga on Rockstar in Excess, also released as a digital single. Kokosuma on Bowie Mania, Mania, Un Collection Obsessionelle de Beatrice Artisan 2007. A Poptigma Berserk uses the guitar melody for a live rendition of the song Mourn, which can be heard on the album APBL 2000 2001. Cross Canadian Ragweed have covered the song on various occasions. Meat Puppets have covered this song. John Cougar Mellencamp performed it as a bonus track on his album The Kid Inside 1983. Mosin Namju used the main riff on the song Mork e Shida. Artist Jeremy Deller uses the song, as performed by the Melodian Steel Orchestra a steel band from South London, as part of the soundtrack for his 2013 short film English Magic. Kamyani Gist covered this song in Ukrainian album 70 2015. Actor Gary Oldman, who was a close friend of Bowie's, performed it in tribute on 8 February 2016 at the Roxy Theatre in Los Angeles. On 29 March 2016, Michael Stipe of R.E.M. performed the song on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon accompanied by only a piano in tribute to David Bowie. On 31 October 2016, Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys released a cover. The television show Ozark, Season 2, Trailer and Episode 4, featured a cover version of the song, 